Hi guys, this time I'm on Plasma, but this time I'm gonna play a little bit in the sense that we should all have, we should all have scripts, whether you're Linux Mint or Red Hat or NixOS or whatever. After being given a distribution, we want to remove things, we want to install things, we want to change things. And on Arclix, we have this script immediately embedded in our system. Of course, this is my script, but make a copy and a paste and change all things that you don't like. And maybe you've seen it, but I've started my script for Plasma 6. So 500 is Plasma 6. Sublime Text is already installed, obviously. And that's the fun look. That's a problem. He has the idea that there is a screen next door. <laughs> there is no screen next door. There is the lamp and the laptop, but there is a ghost screen there. So one of the things I'm gonna get rid of. But the thing is, if you install Plasma as many times I have today, like 10, 20 times, it's always the same thing to do over and over and over again. So what I do is remove Broadcom WDKMS, remove this, remove that. All the Chinese, Japanese, Korean fonts don't need them. I want OBS Studio because Simple Screen Recorder doesn't work on Wayland and all the rest. We've created today two packages for key bindings like Super Q and Super Shift Q and Super Enter and all that, Super X. So we're gonna install it and copy paste that particular file, just that file over to the config. Same here for the services, this is a bunch of files, so an asterisk. And done, right? A lot of work is already done if you run a script. And that's my point exactly, guys, create your own scripts. And that's another problem. <laughs> I have a number keypad, a separate one. Numlock, what do you think? Numlock, on. So if I have to do that each time, each single time, it's gonna be boring. So I wanna have that in a script somehow. For instance, no, I want you to go like this and you like that. So this one goes out at the top I have the remove things and at the bottom I have the install things and it's not that difficult just copy paste this file and that's it that's all you need if the rest is too complex right just one file removal installation done now I have installed already a few things like well telegram was still extra and discord but I was I had already a sublime text you see so, they, let's see at the bottom there. So we have added this. If you wanna see if this is successful, I suggest you do this. V to for verbos. How do you know all these things, Eric? Control T, Mon, CP, learn and read, right? The V is often verbose or talkative, verbose. Explain what's being done, okay? So that's a good idea to have maybe add minus V there. Save, so we see what's happening here as well, minus V. In the beginning, I often do that to just check, is it doing what it's supposed to be doing? So there, he says here, I'm gonna copy paste this one to that folder. I'm going to copy paste this one to that folder and here I'm going to copy paste this one to that folder. So that's cool. But, 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 is there a but? The global shortcuts are here. So they're all good. This is a double check. I'm not going to add the Vs officially, but this is how you do it. Check your work. So, We are going to 
sorry, we're gonna check. First of all, I don't like the wallpaper. So trash wallpaper, my wallpaper, new wallpaper, too dark. Trash wallpaper, much better. I'm gonna go first for a little bit of designing, if I may. This is my time off, right? <laughs> It's Saturday night. My time off is playing around. Here we are playing around with computers as opposed to playing around with computers during daytime. It's different. It is. And arc dark and play blah, 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 and bang, blah, 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 arc dark, blah, blah, okay. And I do like the look these days. Oh, I forgot the icons. We have new icons, boys and girls. We have new icons. I did not press that button. And the new icons are here. That's the easiest way to go to it. The icons and then this one, for example. Hopla. Done. I do like, I was going to say, the bar these days at the top. And the width was actually kind of fun to have it smaller, which gives me a feeling of I'm on some kind of tiling when I manager, which I'm of course not. We're still quite. Oh yeah, got an idea. Each time I come on here, I have to set my console. I like it transparent. Each time again. So when you start to sigh and you start to say and think, I have to do it again, right? That's the time for scripting. So let's take a backup. And here as well, Control C, Control V, backup. By the way, this is a tutorial for ISO builders. Ah oh, yeah. How do you know what is what? By copy and melt. Okay. Um, change first. So the change in Dolphin, let's tackle that first. The change in Dolphin is settings, uh, console of course. The change in console, I'm gonna make a new, which I'm gonna call Edu, which is short for Eric Dubois, right? Edu. Then I'm gonna take a look at all the settings. Now, I'm not sure how much this is in size, but I'm pretty sure that 130 will make me more happy in size and not less but more let's see if I'm happy with 40 rows that's that I'll take a look on all these things tabs blah 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 check it out appearance here we are that's what I want to really change Okay, transparency, blur it, and apply it. Okay, and I stay in breeze, I'm happy with breeze. You choose something else, that's fine. I'm looking for scrolling, Un fixed size, I don't like fixed sizes, unlimited. There are sometimes scripts that are run for thousands and thousands of lines, I need to be able to scroll up. Okay, let's see what we get already. So edu should be default. And there we go. This is my look. And when I open it, control T, that's the size. That's a nice size, right? We can do something with that. And I'm gonna go for NB. NB is nano bash. I don't want to see all the rubbish that is displayed there. Enter. So, Ctrl T. You've noticed maybe Super Q is working. Super Enter. Super Shift Q. Super X. It's all working. Key bindings from Arclinix are now copy pasted thanks to 
the script. Where is this file? I want to have this file. I want to copy paste this file. This needs to be right. Where is the console? You know, you can go and have a look around and maybe you'll find it. That's good. But you can also right mouse click compare using melt and have a look like this. Tell them to filter the things that are not the same. And this he changed that he changed dolphin, dolphin, dolphin session. Whatever is in there, dolphin, dolphin, dolphin. Okay. And uh, variety, sure, 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 all nice. But this one looks like console RC. This looks like what we have. Aha. Here it says default profile. I need to have that line. So, what I keep in mind is console RC is what I need to have. That means that. Let's go to here and then console RC is something I need to copy paste over. Next time around, I will not set it. I'll just control C, control V in a script on the desktop. That's a file I need. Now there's another file because how else does he know what's the config? He says use the config. Sure. So let's have a look at the local. Let's compare there as well. Maximize Baloo Baloo. All good, all good, all good, all good. AD profile, look at that. AD profile, what's that? Color scheme is Breeze, name is Edu, fallback, terminal 13040. Hmm. Then the transparency must be in the other file or maybe in here. These things, yeah. Chinese for us, but he gets it, right? So my guess is we need the whole enchilada. We need the whole thing. Also the breeze color scheme as well. So we're in local share console. Local share console. Local share console. Control C. That's something else we need. And we can make ourselves it easy. So dot local. Yep. Move here. Yes. Share. And if I make the scripts in that fashion, then I say maybe I'm thinking of how to do it. I think maybe it's super easy if we just create a folder. That's strange. What is this line doing here? First time ever I see this all day long. Okay. Um, I was thinking the following if we go to data to Arctic Nemesis to personal to settings Let's create a plasma six folder, right? Folder plasma six. Enter. And in this plasma six folder, I'll put another folder. Dot config. All right. We're getting there. Basically, we're creating a package for an ISO builder. Same process. So desktop. This one goes in the dot config. Wait, both both are desktop now. Uh, no, no, no. So the one that is in the data, active nemesis, personal settings, plasma, plasma six. All right, this one. So the dot config, console RC, move here. And this one has a local move here. This is the structure. If we can make a script that's, that we say, go copy paste over everything from plasma six to dot config this one to dot local share console all of those guys, we should be good, all right? So I'm gonna do exactly that on my other system. And that's the fun. 
So once you've figured it out, it's time to test. So I'm gonna do the following, not this one, right? Super, Thunar. Thunar, I relied even on this one. Why? Browse network, look how easy it is. I'm gonna go to another computer, right? I'm on my other computer, the ISO builder. And this one for teaching, this can go, that was for learning, go. And then I have to go for Thunar again, or I launch it again, or just simply new window. And in data, I've written everything nicely in a folder. So the Plasma 6, here we is, voila, Control C, Control V. It's now on my other computer. I turn myself around and then we have the ISO builder in front of us. He's waking up. I go to this shared folder, Plasma 6, Control C. There's nothing exec executable, it's important. If there is something executable, you need to schmod plus X the thing again. But I don't think it is, but we'll see. So Plasma 6 comes from the share to here. Okay. And then I put it online. And gradually, this is not um, a thing you do fast. I mean, it's... Um, let me first type console. So you know if you watch the GitHub what I did. So it's not that it's super fast, it's gradually, and then you add this and you get tired of that and it's, oh no, I have to do it again. Then you make the script, right? You say, okay, let's sit down, take the time and make the script. That's all it is, right? Take a few minutes and then you can do this. This works um, not, <laughs> we're not an XFCE, we are, we are using Thunar, right? About. So help him a little bit, edit, configure custom actions, this does not work, we're not on link, so console is here, the terminal. Ooh, nice, I'm happy with this. Let's, um, let's change it. Let's go to, let's go to built-in. Let's change it, how shall we change it? Let's go to settings. I just want to know, is it working, right? So this one has set as default. And if we open up, we can still, still get this one. So no, actually, I want to get rid of all the settings that we just made. So if we do a copy paste, so I actually know that it's, it's working, right? Okay, strange, right? Build in. It keeps on giving me my own, which is good. <laughs> That's the one I want. But, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let's remove it. Ale. Okay, dot. If it's dead, then we need to reboot. Then it's often probably something like that. But since we're recording, I can't. All right, nice. Git pull from my other computer to the internet, back down here. He's gonna say, uh, it's not gonna work. Git reset hard. Go grab it, no, not possible. Okay, okay, then we just do the following. Bye. And we get the, uh, it's because we're working in that particular folder, right? That's why. Uh, get Nemesis on Acolyx. And if you go and have a look in personal, in settings, in Plasma 6, Plasma 6, here we are. Control H, they are present. What I should do now is tell the system, go copy paste this over. So copying things over is 
actually in 500. No, 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 no. No Vim. No Vim. No Vim. Sublime text. Uh, reload, sure. So in here, we have to tell them if. No, there is no if needed because we have it already. If we install our Arclang Snaps scripts, we don't, don't need to check it. The only thing I need to say is go here, go here, and copy paste that one to the root. Okay? So you can grab all this actually. Control C. Remember, I'm Eric, right? So <laughs> it's gonna work. If you're making this for more people, then you need to, to change some things there. So, but let's keep it simple in the beginning. So basically I'm saying copy paste, minus V maybe, everything that's in that folder, where is my asterisk here, to, ooh, the tilt, where is the tilt? I am on a QWERTY keyboard, so that one, okay? Everything that's in that folder needs to go to the, um, I don't know if we're gonna get the message or not. Don't think so. Otherwise, F for force. So this is what I'm gonna add to my system. And we removed one of the files, right? Let's see if we are going to run this. So data flex 500, if you run this, and I should not press enter yet. If we're gonna run this, that means I think we've deleted something in the local share. And what was it then? Console. Yes, the A2 is gone, right? The A2 is gone. So if you run this, then he's gonna do all kind of things. Um, what did we forget here? No such file or directory. Home Eric data. I the home Eric should be fixed as well. And why does he not find plasma six? Because it's hidden. Yes. So the point matters. <laughs> point. And let's get rid of the home Eric, which is, I think that's dollar. Yeah. Dollar home is home Eric, home Jeff, home John, home John. And I mean, it changes into your own. It's an environment variable. Okay, let's see. Here, something should happen. Um, omitting directory. Now we have a directory, which means R Eric recursive. It is already late. Getting later. And here is my edu profile. So I'm gonna do exactly this on the other machine. This is not my machine. This is the end result. My ISO builder needs to have this exact code and then everything works fine. Now I can make myself a little bit easier by doing the following thing. And this is why I like working on two computers as well. So I launched Thunor and I worked on data, Arclix Nemesis in the 500, Control C, put it on the desktop, Control V, and I edit this thing, test, voila, and it goes on the Samba dump, hopla. I go to the other computer, I find the Plasma 6 test, I cut it, place it next to the other guy, and I still compare. Although I know what's what's in there, I would do a melt between these two files and I see, okay, just the one line. Save, remove the test, put it online. Uh, how shall we call it? Copy paste, right? Copy over. Copy over, I come here, 
this can go it is already gone <laughs> that's why he's complaining and then the data i nemesis this one i can't get pull again because and uh, the differences between these two guys oh nice wallpaper but i can quickly get the nemesis and look at that how nice that is all right so if you want to see the action, number 500 then. now i just thought of something remember the, the other moment i made a change here this is written also somewhere so we can copy paste this file over as well that particular code well it depends what i want to have right if i want to work if i want to work with the custom action bindings from Arc Linux, then i'll always have xfc4 terminal of course other option is getting xf4 terminal on here but let's just assume we just want to have this guy which we like now um then we need to go to eric config and we need to copy paste this over this contains the command console right so the all the, the only thing i need to do is thunar control c dump it back in here scroll roll over to here grab thunar control x move to personal folder settings plasma 6 config control v and then upload it to the internet and we say thunor console binding you'll feed that comment in the github then i get pull the command is here and with the the script that we've made this one is gonna actually copy paste that one over as well because it's part of config thunor so that's taken care of as well so never again do i need to tell him hey go open with console he knows right what else is annoying which we can't really put into packages with which is up to the user to change there are other settings that i want to change and i'm thinking of one that's gonna be let's see in system settings i have to set some things that annoy me and i've made videos about it where those settings are one of the things maybe which is troublesome i don't know why he does that really really troublesome so guys from plasma if ever you hear this I don't have two monitors I have just the one so this thing needs to be off at all time there is no unknown but it can go away with my mouse I think I'm like we in an invisible ghost monitor I can really move away and then come back slowly and we're back <laughs> so there is really something there so enable off yeah apply keep voila because otherwise when i take screenshots the thing is there right it's in the image i don't know how strange is that so where is that setting where is that setting do i really need to do it all the time or can i compare it figure it out and this is creating your own distribution this is finding out where a setting is so this is our console so we don't need to see this anymore that's fixed we have our edu now and did what this one is uh, what is this enabled false enabled true lit closed data where are we is this about the screen
looks like it anything else so the my maps list that's something maybe it'd like to assemble at some point in time and what's this that's my wallpaper that i have so you can set the wallpaper so that's not important we'll set the wallpaper this looks like the setting right or it's in locale or it's in the databases of locale compare so a lot in the trash so cool trash is good dolphin we need to venture our way in dolphin as well and there is home there is resources clipper console we figured those guys out and there's a difference because we want this uh, so if melt and plasma shell what's this what changed here tun for tunor i guess and this one system settings that's not important so yeah we must be looking at the correct setting and it's gonna be in the config so this thing which we barely can read but we did turn something off so turn uh, here is true and here it's off and it seems to be called data name outputs name setups yeah i'm thinking of something that is i have more than one computer this has one screen what will happen if i copy paste to the this machine with two so I need to I'll diversify or something like that. So maybe this is something for another day, right? Think about it and say, okay, how to do that. Another thing that's annoying is the keyboard, I guess. Turn on, turn on, apply. The keyboard needs to be on for me. Okay, fine. Each time, each installation, there we go again. Can we go and find the code? So the key binding, the keyboard, a lot of stuff here. Actually it, in Plasma, it gets interesting at the bottom. So start at the bottom and move your way up. So this is for wallpapers, not that not that not that this one what's this aha keyboard numlock zero that's my file see and that's how you gradually get your stuff in because just copy paste over is not what you need to do just a few things and i've lost it that's old age but it's easy actually melt click and click and off we go and what was the name again kcm input rc kcm input rc kcm input rc check so same procedure but in tunar if you want to see why in Tunar network, if somebody knows, please share the knowledge. This happens on Plasma. Okay. Normally something happens, but let's go and see for Tunar already. There we are. ISO pillar, Samba dump. Wait for it. So KCM dump, this one, check okay so this one control c control v voila it's here but i can't write on this thing plasma does not let me write on my own folder the other computer if somebody knows that fine otherwise 
I'll just run with Udar. So this one needs to be copy pasted over. I'm on the other computer, Control X. I'm gonna put this inside the dot config. I'm gonna say up this file. And this is called um, no or numeric keypad on. Numeric keypad on. Voila. Changed. Next time around, I will not have to do that again. So in the data folder, if I do git pull, that file comes in. And when I copy paste, that file gets overwritten. That's how you do your work. That's how you tune, rise your system so you don't have to do it all over again each time, each time, each time. Why? Arclix Nemesis goes back before Arclix. I've done my job like this six years before Arclix and Linux Mint with the same kind of scripts. Anything else that was annoying? There are more things that I wanted to change. Ah, yeah. This computer can't go to sleep for me. I need the energy. I need him to stay awake. Energy. It's a radio. A town in Europe, anyway. Energy, just start typing. I don't see it. Energy saving. Voila. And this can't do. This will not do. I can do nothing and turn off screen after 10 minutes, that's cool. But this thing is not okay. Okay, apply. What changed? This is where we need to go to. That's for later. First we analyze. So this one, that one, compare using melt. <sighs> like I said, all the way to, down, to, the, to the bottom. Ah, Power Devil RC is new. Auto suspend action equals zero. Yay, we found it already. So, Power Devil RC, Power Devil RC. Another Thunar. Power Devil RC is at the B. This one, Control C, dump it on my ISO builder. Oh, there we go again. I'm going to the ISO builder and Control X this on my folder and upping this to the internet and that's called power devil enter i'm coming back here i'm gonna go in here and say git pull another one solved so i don't need packages i need i don't you don't need anybody right you need somebody telling you the workflow and some scripting knowledge et voila Go for it. Tweak your system and make it the way you like it. And it, it applies to any file out there. Let's see if I have done everything. There are files, there are on YouTube. Films. Today we've made a lot of films for Plasma 6. So, I'll call links to this. I'll call Linux. And if you see this guy, that's the one. And then you shut them up. And you go to the videos. And these were the videos of today. And voila. So, new icons dealt with, dealt with previous sessions. How to stop this behavior? No, we've not done that. If I log out and log in, he remembers every window that's open and is going to open it all over again. So that's something that's annoying. This needs to be tackled. And then key bindings is done. The ghost display is gone, is, is open because we have dual screen on the other end. And these are about VirtualBox and QMU. So the only one that annoys is annoying for me is a session. So the session, this one, desktop session. Don't do this, session restore. On login, launch apps that were open on last login. Start with an empty session. Apply. Where is this setting? It's 
scroll all the way down. That's Power Devil, we've seen that one. Don't recall what that was. Okay, the wallpaper, got it. Nope. Uh, that's the one that we made need. Voila, login mode, empty session. Found it again, and it's called KCM Server RC. KCM Server RC. Or, yeah, in here. Eh? And then KCM, KCM Server, something like that. KCM must have must be mistaken let's see again ksm eric ksm not kcm so down 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 this one empty session oh yeah baby i want an empty session please no oh, rubbish well up i go to the other screen i grab this thing Control x copy paste it inside Plasma 6 config. That was not successful. <laughs> Control X and Control V, not Control C. And then up to the internet it goes, and this is about empty session. Then I come back here, and we have again back here to the data, to our connects, and git pull and it will be copy pasted over next time around and that's the fun next time around you test if, if everything working and then you don't need to set everything again you just grab the code boom all right done i was thinking of something else oh yeah the that's one thing i dislike about Dol dolphin you can't go up you only can go right and forward and yes you can do this maybe but it's not intuitive not to have the arrow up or maybe it's just me too long on Thunar but there is there should be an arrow up thing in my eyes so Dolphin has its own settings I can change Dolphin the way I like configure the toolbar of Dolphin and I type up and I say add up and I can move up, up, pun intended. I'm looking at Thunar, and Thunar is actually looking like this, like this, like this. So back, left, right, and up. So I'm gonna go for exactly that look. That's what I'm used to. This is now new. I can go up, and often I use it all the time, right? You're sometimes very deep, and you wanna go back up in the structure, that thing is changed. Okay, where is the configuration of that thing? That's all I need. I'm happy with this. And then we compare. Oh, it's already open. So close. Ooh, different color. Never seen this before. This means probably we are crashing this thing. And that's normal. Melt is a bit different. That's great. But it's different. Super shift escape. And then let's see. I've never used this before. If I start typing melt, no. I go in here then. I type no melt. So what you do is you cross the uh, you delete these things, quit application, and then help it. And then everything will be fine again. So we are going to compare. And then all the way down. We changed dolphin so we need to find words probably with dolphin menu bar disabled okay that means probably the default menu bar disabled and then we need to find something else to enable it again right does that make sense so the dolphin rc Let's go for this one, this one. We're gonna need this one, that's for sure. Control C, this is gone. Control V, that's in the dot config. But there must be something in the dot local saying what it should be then. If it's not that, what is it then? 
So all the way down, then go up, find dolphin, dolphin, dolphin. Here it says something. And in those settings, in the state of things, we'll find the code. So that means I need to go to a local, local, share, and then console. Oh, whoa, whoa. Dolphin, 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 up, 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 this one. View properties, what's that? No, not needed. So only this one, control C, control V. I am turning my chair. It's a little bit more complex. Dolphin RC. I have that here done. Then the dot local share console. It's not console, it's dolphin. So I need to create a new folder here called D O L P H I N dolphin. No typos allowed of course and then i put control x dolphin state rc in there control v and now we update dolphin look Voila. done those are the things that i would personally change and there's no need to create packages not really because I just changed the file and look at the wallpaper we're getting. So we go for data, control H, data, add data to the list and not to the trash, data, one down, I click Nemesis, much easier, right mouse click, whoop, and nice. And now we do git pull, and this is the latest hand latest changes that we've made and now the fun starts you reinstall plasma clean install run your scripts and check are all the settings applied and you'll be so happy that it's so fast riced and themed and of course you can go further and further like the rising the wallpapers uh, anything but this is enough for me because i want to play with uh, the settings, right? I want to change icons and I want to change wallpapers and themes and all that. This that's just the fun. But these were necessary, right? This was necessary, not fun. It's it's like oh yeah, true. I need to change that. It's another kind of um, setting, <laughs> basically. I hope you learned something. I can only say there are two things you need to learn: as scripting and and melt and, and with the, those those things you can as a user you can go so far but as an iso developer exactly the same thing so if you're interested arclinx university provides it alci carly arclinx itself it's all about how to build an operating system how to understand an operating system and you're welcome to learn all right have fun